Yo, so I'm back from a week of camp. Um, and there was no, it wasn't a basketball camp. I was working with disabled kids for a, for a full week. Um, but I wanted to be working on my game anyway, so. So I did, as much as I could. So to give you a little idea of how this camp works, it's crazy. There's a really packed schedule. Um, most of the kids are not necessarily mentally impaired, but they're all physically impaired. And there's all kinds of activities and stuff going on. Um, an issue was I couldn't be on the court that much. And when I was, I was working with uh, with wheel kids in wheelchairs. So I, I, whenever I could, there's some hoopers here actually, wheelchair hoopers. Whenever I could, I would take them down to the court whenever there's free time with basketball and feed them out shots and I got an opportunity to practice jumping and an opportunity to practice. Put up a few shots a day, just stay fresh. Did a lot of bear stuff stuff, did a lot of rim hangs, mostly just like talk to the game with people who play it in a different way, which is very good. Um, there's like night duties where I'm like in the middle of the night, I have someone who needs to be in the barracks in case kid needs to use the bathroom or something like that. And I'm walking around in the barracks, um, working on footwork in the middle of the night. Um, I worked on some dunk steps, I worked on some euro steps, I worked on euro step counters, I worked on um, attack steps, fake attack steps, I just worked on a lot of footwork. You don't need to have a basketball to practice dribbling, because the key to dribbling is in your feet anyways. Um, I brought my massage stick, so I was able to massage as much as I could uh, my legs and my arms at various times. Um, Oh man, there was so much squatting of human beings. There was because these kids, a lot of them, can't really get around, and they need to be moved onto the toilet and off the toilet and up into their bunk and back into their bunk and so on. So all day long, I'm just squatting kids, going from behind, getting their arm underneath my arm and picking them up. So actually, like my legs are beat from a week of this, but really, really good exercise, much more natural and functional than squatting barbell plates or squatting dumbbells, a squatting human being is very good exercise. So lots of lifting. So physically it was actually very good. Um, even though I wasn't on the court, I can tell you that my mentally, my footwork is better and I'm stronger than I've been. Maintained my shot, um, maintained my physicality, I'm stronger, so it's gonna be good. So I'm, I'm definitely better, I'm definitely better. And I have some new ideas from playing wheelchair ball. I actually got in a chair in a bit and played. Um, I also, every meal, the meal wasn't ideal. The food wasn't ideal, it was good. But I mean, I may have certain intolerances or I didn't get to eat greens and stuff like that. So I tried to eat as much as I possibly could to fuel my body. I had to eat at certain times, but it turned out okay, I think. Sleep, I slept as much as I could after campers are put to bed. Most counselors are going out and hanging out and stuff like that. But I'm like, screw that. I am exhausted. I need to sleep. It's very important for my mental and physical health that I get enough sleep. I'd love to hang out, but there's plenty of hanging out in the day. So I didn't get enough sleep. Everyone else got much, le much less than me, though. But the whole point of this is I spent a week away as a counselor at a camp where I wasn't playing basketball. This is not a basketball camp. And I've come back stronger physically and mentally. And that's what it's all about. I see people saying, here's my workouts, here's my workouts. What kind of workouts should I be doing? It's a lifestyle, right? The people who make the farthest at basketball are working all the time. If they're in class, they're putting up shots in the back of their head. When they're in the shower, they're doing squats and calf raises and stuff like that. And I really believe that. It's a basketball lifestyle, 100%. So for me, I'm just showing you how I spent the last week off the court training as hard as I possibly could. And I'm back, and I'm going to be stronger. My steps are going to be stronger. I don't have lots of new stuff to show off. I know that I missed out on a week of content, but I'm back now. So... For all y'all wondering what workouts to do, don't worry about your workouts. Worry about your lifestyle. Let's go hard. And by the way, these kids playing wheelchair, I'm going to make a video about that too. I didn't bring my camera out there, which I regret, because these kids are awesome. They work hard. They work hard. Um, 
And it just shows you no excuses. Whatever your limitation is, it's not you're paralyzed, right? Unless you're watching this and you are. So I'll, 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 when I meet up with these kids the next time, I'll put up a video on this. But that's it. It's about a lifestyle. Now I gotta go to sleep. I'm exhausted. I just got back from camp. Within an hour, I made this video. So I'll see you all online.